G'day everybody, it's me again. It's nice and dry, so time to play with some electricity. This uh, old arc well that pickle gave me hasn't got any output, and I found out why. I think we've got a wired come drifting off inside. I can hear the transformer running, it's making its nice buzzy noises, but uh, no output. So I'm going to strip the case off, you know, get the transformer out, and see what it can do. Uh, it says equivalent continuous is 15 amp but maximum short circuit 31 amp and maximum supply I think is 160 amps uh, we'll figure out how many volts it is once it's apart so give me a minute here and see how we go alrighty I got the cover off and I can tell you why it wasn't working because that there it all melted that winding now these are the brass nuts or copper nuts which should have been holding these windings on but they were just loose sitting in the bottom of the of the machine probably too much of this had gone on over the time and they just melted like go no, no, no connection anymore so uh yeah uh, another interesting thing about this big old beast is is that primary winding when you move this amp control you actually move the whole the whole uh the whole winding moves. So you can actually move the winding closer or further away to change the current. Which uh, I've never seen one like this before. Anyway, I'm going to continue to remove it. We'll put it on the bench and we'll give it a run and see what happens. Okay, so I finally got the big beast out. I'm um, setting it up on top of those MOTs because the, the the bolts that are in the bottom there, they hold the secondary winding in place. Um, don't want it to be on the piss, so I'll just let it sit there. Um, actually look like alloy windings. I'm not sure, I'll have to double check that and might have to cut one and see. Copper coated alloy windings perhaps. Primary. Buckets of turns. Secondary. Not so many turns. Bullshit amps. This was an AC stick welder by the way. So I'm going to plug the power cord back in, fire it up, see how many amps it draws under idle and short circuit conditions. And then we might try to pop something with it. <laughs> there you go, so we're all wired up. And uh, now we'll turn on, see what it sounds like. Yeah, it's buzzing. Drawing 3.7 amps. Where's something I can test this with? I know springs like to melt when they get hit by uh, electricity. I wonder if these batteries have some kind of internal shunt in them because they are not just have a shunt, they kind of fuse. Because they seem to be able to draw a crap load of electricity for a very short amount of time and then nothing. What will happen to that? <laughs> oh, that's going to be so hot, there's no way I'm picking that up.
20 quad hacks, primary saw. I can hook this thing up properly. And I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. A lot of fun. Anyway, thanks for listening to me. Thanks for watching. I don't know if I want to rewind it. It seems too much fun as it is. It really does seem too much fun as it is. Thanks for watching.